morning. I hope everybody had a great St. Patrick's Day and uh, I hope you're ready to see some nice new listings. We had 12 listings come on the market yesterday in Oakville. Uh, let's take a peek. We'll start off with th uh, 3111 Stornoway Circle in Oakville. That's in Brownie Creek. It's listed at 309. It's a freehold, three-story townhouse, a three-bedroom. Um, I'll click through the pictures in a second. It's got stainless steel appliances, hardwood floors in the fam or living room, dining room, as well as in the master bedroom. Take a look at the pictures. Uh, it's got a really neat backsplash I'll show you. It's a pretty nice kitchen. There's some bold colors, but don't forget there's nothing you can't cover up with paint. So try and look past that if it's not your style. Really nice, pretty spacious for a three-story. It looks pretty good, nicely decorated, shows well. And that's up in Brownie Creek for 309. Next, we have 284 Remington Drive in River Oaks. This is, <clears throat> excuse me, a two-story semi-detached for $359.9. It has three bedrooms, a fully finished basement. It's a pretty good value. Um, it's got a large principal room. It's got a newer furnace. All the appliances are included. No pictures here for us. But we can go take a look at it if you like. Then we have three, uh, 3068 Store and Away Circle, also in Granite Creek. This is on at 379. Um, this is a freehold townhouse as well. It's sort of one of those split level ones. Um, three bedrooms, fully finished basement. It's a walkout basement, which is nice to have. Nice and bright unit. I'll take you through the pictures. There's lots of them here. Take a peek. Nice kitchen, good backsplash. Pretty spacious. These ones tend to feel, feel pretty roomy. There's a lot of pictures here. Um, it's got hardwood floors on the main level there. I'm not sure if you noticed. It's also got the inside entry to the garage, which is fantastic to have. Convenient. Uh, and a little patio in the backyard for you. Then we have 1145 Springbrook Crescent in Oakville. That's in Glen Abbey. It's on at 429. It is a freehold link home. So that usually means they're either linked by the foundation under the ground or they're linked by the garage. So they're Technically detached, but they do have a common wall somewhere. Um, not usually too primary. We don't have any pictures of this one except for the front. Uh, it's got a separate entrance to the basement. Three bedrooms, four bathrooms, probably two plus two really. Um, so hopefully we'll have some pictures of that one, or if it's of interest, we can go take a look. We've got 526 Sharon Drive in West Oakville. This is on for $469.9. It is a freehold bungalow. Uh, <clears throat> three plus one bedrooms, two bathrooms, fully finished basement. It's been done really nicely. It looks good on the inside. I'll show you through the pictures. There's uh, there's a few here. It's been finished very nicely. The pretty fireplace. I love the way they finished that off. Got custom kitchen uh, and recently redone bathrooms. Nice kitchen, lots of counter space there. Big windows. Nice bungalow in West Oakville for four sixty nine. We also have 3317 Stally Bridge Drive in Brawny Creek. This is on for $494. It's a two-story townhouse, freehold. Uh, three bedrooms, a partially finished basement. Um, fin with finished basement, it's about 2,200 square feet. So, uh, so that's quite a bit of living space. Um, it's got a nice big deck. We click through the pictures. There's a whole bunch here. Take a look. Uh, it's got hardware on the main floor, granite countertops in the kitchen. The master has his and her uh, closets, which is nice. Nicely done kitchen. Really bright place. Good sized master. That's one of the bathrooms. And uh, just some nice bathrooms, and that's your finished basement. So that definitely adds some extra living space. And a nice big deck out back. We've got 2324 Rebecca Street in Bronte. It's on at $499.9. It is a bungalow, fully detached. It's got an in-law suite, which is nice to have. Separate entrance. Um, it's a fully finished basement. There's a tenant in the property now. They're willing to stay, apparently. They rent for $1,100, I believe. Um, it's, uh, it's parking for five cars, at least. It's a really nice big driveway. So that's fantastic. And uh, it's on a good-sized lot. It's 62 by 155, so you may see somebody coming into this, knocking it down and using the lot um, to build a newer home, which has happened uh, just across the road from this house. Looks really nice. Good access to the highways and everything here, too. 
Then we've got 1229 Tansley Drive. It's 569. This is in West Oakville. It's a detached bungalow. Um, all your appliances are included. There's a couple things excluded, some draperies, things like that. It's three plus one bedrooms. It's fully finished. Um, it's uh, They just recently spent over $100,000 in upgrades, they say, <clears throat> in terms of a custom kitchen, the backsplash, bathrooms, furnace, air conditioning, hardwoods, some appliances, things like that, which is fantastic. <clears throat> Lots of bungalows today, eh? Who's looking for one? So uh, we can pop by that one and see it if you're interested. We've got 475 Maple Grove Road. This is uh, over in the Ford District. It's on for 619. It's a detached bungalow. Getting used to seeing that. Three plus one bedrooms. It's fully finished. It's a detached garage, a single car garage. It's um, near the Oakville Frogger High School and Maple Grove School District, which is nice. Nice schools. Nice and sunny, apparently. It's got an upgraded kitchen, newer bathrooms. The furnace is approximately five years old. And same with the roof. Not a ton of information there for us. Then we've got 1371 Old English Lane. This is in Glen Abbey. It's on at 669. It's a detached two-story, four bedrooms. It's an unfinished basement. Um, it's got a main floor family room, which is nice to have. This is a big home. It's about 2800 square feet just over. I have lots of living space here. <clears throat> um, so formal living room, dining room. I'll show you the pictures. There's a ton. That's the, uh, the entryway and the stairway. It's just formal living room, dining room. You take a look at those. Enjoy. Updated kitchen. Not bad. Lots of windows. Greenhouse kitchen, they call that when there's lots of windows like that. It's really nice to have. Very sunny. Uh, they've recently redone the furnace, the garage, doors, and most of the windows, which is nice. Good bathroom. And a good sized lot. Then we have 3438 Buena Vista Court in Bronte. This is on at 939. Nine. It is a two-story detached home, four bedrooms, unfinished basement, two-car garage, parking for four. It's a block from the lake, which is nice. <clears throat> it's got a five-piece ensuite in the master. Let me show you the pictures. Good lot. Bright kitchen. It's got the loft to the upstairs. Uh, every bedroom in this home has ensuite privileges, which is handy. Good size room, so it's the loft again. Nice backyard. We've got 182 Gloucester Avenue in Old Oakville. This is on for uh, 140, sorry, 1,439. It's a detached two story. Um, it's not a bad lot. 48 by 156 is pretty good. It's four bedrooms, fully finished basement. <clears throat> it's been uh, it's been upgraded. It's got a new kitchen with granite countertop, stainless steel appliances, upper level. <clears throat> uh, the master's got the nice walk-in closet and a huge ensuite, apparently, which is nice. Um, two fireplaces, pool-size lot. We don't know a whole ton about this one yet, but we can take a look at it if you like. So that's all we have today. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, I appreciate you doing that. If you have any questions, give me a shout. I would love to show you some houses this weekend. We'll see you soon. Bye.